Now let me create the second unit that is operating systems. To create the second unit, I need to create a new folder. So I'll bring the mouse here on and as I click on computer fundamentals, right pane shows me that computer fundamentals has just one unit that is basics. Now I can add a, whenever you want to add a new unit, you should say add new folder. So I'm adding a new folder for operating systems. So operating systems is going to appear as the second unit in my wiki. So you'll find that operating systems has appeared here and by the level of indentation you can make out it's at the same level as at P6. The basics had a left arrow because there were some subunits under it and as I keep on adding subunits to this you will get the arrow like this. Now I'll create the second unit by creating the documents or topics or subtopics one by one. So right now I'm on operating system and now I will say add new page. Let me say the first part of introduction is uh, operating systems is introduction. I'll create an introduction page and to add content to this I'll have to go to Google Docs once again. Either I can type something in introduction or I have a word document already created which contains something about introduction of operating system. I'll just copy the content from here. I'm using the copy paste options or control C control V come back to my wiki page and paste it paste it through control V so the content has been placed here need some formatting so this document has been created again I don't need to save it it's a Google Doc and now you can click on it and whatever I type there appears over here in introduction and now you can see a left arrow appears over here indicating this operating system has got further subtopics. I wish to add the second subtopic now to operating systems and that subtopic is functions of operating system. So I click on add new page functions of OS click on create so a Google Doc is created I can edit that and I can type whatever I want to write normally we should give headings I have not given a heading here because I am just demonstrating but otherwise it's better if every page has got a heading also. So this page is created now. And if I go to functions of OS, click, sorry, that was introduction of functions of OS, I click here and I get all the four functions here. Now I feel now after creating this page it would have been much better if functions of OS was created as a subheading and under that I had four headings one for processor management one for memory management. Whenever we are creating online content we should ensure that the page is not very long. Therefore I would create small sections. So for processor management I should create a subsection, for memory management I should create a subsection and so on. So I want to do away with this page and instead of creating functions of OS as a page or Google Doc, I would create that as a folder now with the folder which is going to have four subtopics under it, processor management, memory management, file management and device management. So let me see how I remove this now. So this can be removed by clicking here and saying trash. So if you don't like any content that you have created or in case you don't like any subtopic and you want to move it, remove it from the wiki, you can always remove it. So now it has been removed. Now let me add 
functions of operating system as a folder. So I will say add new folder functions of OS. When it is created as a folder, it does not have any individual content, but it can have topics or subtopics under it. So I add a new page under it for processor management. And say create. Now you will find functions of OS has an arrow on its left side indicating it is a folder and that folder has a subtopic as processor management. The indentation shows the main topics, the subtopics and further subtopics. Now to edit processor management page I click here and I pick up the content from the word document already created. So I have selected the content for processor management, press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. So the content for processor management comes here. The next topic I add after it, a new page that is for memory management. So like this I can add the subtopics for functions of OS.